Hi, I'm Dora, and today we're going to make some blackened salmon. It's an easy dish, as easy as one, two, three. It sounds scary when you see blackened salmon, but it's an easy, easy meal to prepare. I got some fish this morning from our market, which is next door to us, called Kaiwa Seafood, Kaiwa's Catch. And what I'm doing is I'm skinning the salmon. You just take a good sharp knife and you slide it underneath the salmon and the skin. Or you can have a fish monger do it for you. Meanwhile, we have to have a pan which has been heating for a while. A nice sturdy pan. Just spray with pan as you can see it. The smoke, you need that. You want that because that's what's going to blacken your salmon. And I do have a rub here, and the rub is also sold in our market. It consists of brown sugar, thyme, and smoked paprika, which gives a nice, nice flavor. Now we're ready to take it to our pan, which is red hot, and we're going to sear it. By searing, it stays in the pan for about two or three minutes. Do not play with it. As you can see, there's an awful lot of smoke coming out. If it gets too, too hot, we'll put out just a little. And within three minutes, we'll flip it over and we have it ready. Now, meanwhile, I have prepared, I already started before, we're going to have a chutney. And the chutney consists of some mango that I diced before and anything that you have that you would like to use. We have some green peppers, some red peppers, some red onion, and now we will mix it together. And meanwhile, we'll check on our salmon, which is blackening. Right about now. If you would like, which I didn't add to it, you can always add a little bit of salt to it, a little black pepper, but I'm going to be using it on my chutney. And I also have some fresh arugula here, which I will put it into my plate. Nice colorful black plate, so it'll show up your black salmon. And you just sprinkle a little bit. You do not have to have the arugula. You can have a nice pack of salad, asparagus, anything like that. But I do like this combination. And what you do, we're back again to our uh, blackening of our salmon. It's kind of an interesting dish to make because it gets smoky and flavorful and the brown sugar caramelizes the salmon, making it very, very tasty. All right, let's get back to our chutney again. Meanwhile, salmon is one of the healthiest dishes that you can eat. It's heart healthy. A three ounce piece of salmon consists of 1,825 milligrams of omega-3, which is very, very healthy for you. And meanwhile, we have two tablespoons of good fresh olive oil and rice wine vinegar, which you can get anywhere, in, even in our market. Just sprinkle as much as you would like. You add some salt to it, some black pepper, and you just toss it all together. And that's all there is to it. You can have mango, you can have pineapple, you can have all the veggies that you would like. It makes a nice fresh salsa, as I call it in the summertime. Now meanwhile, we are burning the place out, so it's time to flip it over. And shortly, we will be able to serve our salmon. Bring it over here. And fluoride heat. I've had it on high, but in a little while, you start bringing it down to medium. Because your pan gets hot enough and it holds all the heat that you need to see the salmon. Now, meanwhile, Orange. Need a little bit of a 
a garnish. So let's just take an orange or a lemon, whatever you prefer. I like orange with salmon. And you take a little bit of fresh parsley. And what you're going to do is you're going to chop it. Chop it fine. If you don't want the parsley, you don't have to use it. I like the parsley because it makes a nice garnish and it makes it taste nice and fresh. And now, as you can see, our pan caramelizes. The fish is not burnt. This is the caramelization of the brown sugar and the thyme that causes it. I'm going to remove it to my serving plate. with your orange and sprinkle it with your fresh parsley. We have a fast, quick, one, two, three dish. Enjoy it.